I genuinely think it is such an insane idea to introduce. Yes, students should have a basic understanding of English and maths up to the age of 16. And that's why it should be compulsory up to that stage, because you do need a basic understanding of these subjects, um, especially when you're thinking post-education. However, with A-levels, the whole point of undertaking A-levels is the fact that you're able to specialise in subjects that you're interested in to then go on to university and then study a course subject that you want to specialize in and then maybe have a career in. And I think like for me personally, um, when I was studying GCSEs, I got two nines in English and an A star during my A-levels of in English literature. So English was always my strong point. However, in maths, I got a U when I first um, took the subjects. And that was after me studying very hard because I've always been very bad at maths. And it took me several attempts to actually pass my maths GCSE. But for me, I have many questions about this policy because especially when students are taking their A-levels, will they do three A-levels and the English and maths alongside um, their exams? Like this will create a lot more pressure on students and limit their opportunities to be going to university. And I think Rishi Sunak should instead be trying to focus on maybe improving schemes such as apprenticeships or other opportunities for young people to access once they finish their GCSEs because we do know, you know, you know, university is not always the right pathway for everyone and there are other uh, pathways that people can take that might be better suited for them.